Now this one, I was initially very hesitant about when I like <laughs> saw the initial headline for it, just because there's a lot of places like misreporting what this is. And then when I did some more research, I just go, "Shut up and take all of my money, please." So what we are getting is a Lord of the Rings prequel, but not The Hobbit. So what this is is officially made by New Line Cinema, so the people that made the original Lord of the Rings trilogy, they're going to be doing an anime prequel about the origin of Helm's Deep. Supposedly there was like a king that ruled in this area that I'd imagine he basically held down this fortress while forces tried to attack from the outside and set up the legend that is Helm's Deep. And I'm going... Yes, yes, a thousand times, yes. Yeah. Obviously, like, Josh and I both are super protective of Lord of the Rings. Don't care for The Hobbit very much. But if you say, we're doing anything with Lord of the Rings, we come in with pitchforks not wanting to like it. Like, I'm still really not looking forward to the Amazon Lord of the Rings series just because I don't think they understand the material very well mm-hmm. and are coming at it from the wrong aspect and the wrong intentions. This... Sounds really, really cool. Just because it's so detached timeline-wise from Lord of the Rings. This is set so far in the past. And also, given that it's anime, I think our brains will more be easier to differentiate it from the original Lord of the Rings. And just be like, okay, this is, while it's still set in the same world, is so far in the past. Or it's, I can separate it easier. Also, Come on, man. I'm a red-blooded male. I just love the Battle of Helm's Deep just as much as the next guy. And spending more time there and just... Violence? Yes. Now, I'll say one more thing and I'll hand it over to Josh and just to see his reaction to this. Since it's an anime, what if we got the guy from Samurai Jack? That's, that's, that's a cartoon that's not an anime. That style, though. And also, he wrote it, so he's got experience writing. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I, I, I was trying to pretend to be a pretentious anime guy, and we both know that's not me. Um, <laughs> you are the more anime of the two of us, and even then, you're half hearted at best. Yes, absolutely. Um, but you are I not a weeb. Like the, yes. Uh, I was more thinking of, I don't know if you've seen any of the trailers or anything like that, but the Netflix um, Castlevania style animation mm. for for this Helm Steve. Very stylized. Um, very stylized, but like also clearly like its own thing. Um, but yeah, Helm Steve. I want more Helm Steve. Are you kidding me? One of the main maps I played on Left 4 Dead 2 was the Hel- Helm Steve map. One of the main maps that I played on World of Warcraft Frozen Throne was the the Helm Steve map. So, I'm showing how big of a nerd I am. Anyway, um, I was half expecting you to say the classic Lord of the Rings Xbox and PlayStation games. Ooh, yeah, cause... they're cool, I guess. <laughs> wow. <laughs> No, yeah, like there's like Helm's Deep is great. The whole battle is cool. The whole pacing of everything is cool. Seeing, I think the question I will have is, is it a series or is this like a one and done like movie? I think it's a one and done movie. I think it's okay. I think it's a one and done movie. I, which I'm totally okay with. That's fine. I, I I'll take it either way, honestly. But like my expectation of quality will differ between show to movie you know what i mean yeah 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 um, so i mean if, if honestly at this point if we get something in de- as decent as quality as like i don't know what's that batman uh, ninja movie um, that was that was kind of bizarre it was bizarre but i love the, the the style of it i will um, say that yeah it was very unique style exactly so like it's the sky's the limit here i think is the big thing is they can just do whatever they want and it's gonna be really stinking cool i'm looking forward to this as a lord of the rings fan of i don't know my middle earth history but theoretically there should not be any gandalf in this like let's stop going to that well please of like we need to have at least one character that people recognize if it's not gandalf it's gotta be sauron or saruman i'm going you could just you know 
build up some new characters for us to like, and then you could probably kill them off more easily. Legolas is going to show up. Who? Legolas. Let's not <laughs> hobbit this. Let's not <laughs> hobbit this. Evangeline Lilly shows up. Even worse, Bilbo just shows up, just strolls. He's just strolling in the background. He strolls like... <laughs> No, you've got Marion Pippin just smoking a pipe in the corner of the screen somewhere, just going, Hey! Why are we here? Or, or like, but see, like, I think the fun thing you could do here, and because not all of Wild to- Tolkien was very, like, very detailed, not all of his lore has been written. So what would be really cool, like, do little things, like, have a hobbit show up or some not even be a main character be a side character or something and like maybe he's he's a really he loves brewing or something and uh, at the end of the battle or of the of the film like well are you going to come you know on this adventure with us he's like you know what no i think i'm going to go back home with the shire and start start a a bar or something and i think i'll call it the green dragon like it's like little things like that would be really the fun the prancing pony mm, the green dragon <laughs> 